step back to the cinematic landscape of 1966, and you'll find yourself in the company of Howard Hawks' classic film, an embodiment of the Western genre. El Dorado stands as a testament to the era's storytelling prowess, offering audiences a narrative marked by grit, camaraderie, and the unyielding pursuit of justice on the sun-drenched plains. Before we delve into the details, have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a moment when this film left an indelible mark on your life? Perhaps a personal story unfolds, illustrating the lasting impact of El Dorado on your own journey. Or, on a lighter note, do you harbor a cherished memory associated with the characters and scenes that played out on screen? Now, let's explore a few intriguing facets of this cinematic gem. The movie brings together the formidable talents of John Wayne and Robert Mitchum, creating an on-screen chemistry that mirrors the rugged landscape against which their characters navigate moral complexities. The narrative unfolds with the precision of Hawk's directorial finesse, blending action, wit, and a touch of melancholy that resonates with audiences even decades later. The film's enduring appeal lies not only in its gripping storyline, but also in its ability to capture the essence of the Wild West, where alliances are forged in dust-laden saloons, and justice is meted out with a six-shooter. The seamless integration of suspense and humor adds depth to the characters, making El Dorado a timeless piece of cinematic history. As we reflect on this iconic film, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the movie. Your stories and recollections hold a unique place in the tapestry of El Dorado enthusiasts, and we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Crafted to captivate and endure, El Dorado continues to resonate with audiences, transcending its temporal origins. So, what's your story? El Dorado, a classic Western film released in 1966, directed by Howard Hawks, stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of the genre. Drawing inspiration from Harry Brown's novel The Stars in Their Courses, the film unfolds in a small Texas town besieged by a power-hungry rancher and a corrupt sheriff. The narrative follows the unwavering camaraderie between Cole Thornton, a gunslinger with a moral compass, and J.P. Hara, a sheriff facing personal demons. Their alliance, supplemented by the sharp-witted Mississippi and the spirited Joey MacDonald, forms the backbone of the plot. The film seamlessly blends action, humor, and drama, embodying Howard Hawks' signature style. John Wayne's portrayal of Cole Thornton and Robert Mitchum's charismatic performance as J.P. Hera elevate the film, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. El Dorado not only became a critical and commercial success, but also left an enduring impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent westerns and solidifying its status as a genre classic. Its memorable quotes, memorable characters, and Hawk's directorial finesse collectively contribute to the film's lasting legacy. The resonance of El Dorado can still be felt in the cinematic landscape, a testament to its timeless storytelling and the indomitable spirit of the Wild West. In the nocturnal landscape of Howard Hawk's 1966 western, darkness becomes a metaphor for aging. The second half of the film unfolds under the cover of night, symbolizing the encroaching shadows on Cole Thornton, J.P., Hera, and Bull. This deliberate choice adds a nuanced layer to the narrative, reflecting the characters confronting mortality. Interestingly, Robert Mitchum, one of the lead actors, playfully noted Howard Hawke's tendency to jump on his own bandwagon. This behind-the-scenes jest sheds light on the director's signature style and his self-aware approach to filmmaking. Mitchum's humorous observation offers a glimpse into the camaraderie within the cast and the dynamic between the actors and the seasoned director. Moreover, the ensemble cast features two familiar faces from the television western series The Rifleman. Johnny Crawford, known for portraying Mark McCain, the title character's son, takes on the role of Luke MacDonald. Meanwhile, Paul Fix, who played Marshal Micah Torrance in the series, appears as Dr. Miller in the film. The connection extends to Chuck Connors, who used a Winchester with an enlarged lever in the rifleman, reminiscent of John Wayne's firearm in the movie. These interwoven elements contribute to the rich tapestry of El Dorado, showcasing Howard Hawke's thematic choices, on-set camaraderie, and nods to television western history. The film's nocturnal setting, Mitchum's banter, and the cast's TV connections collectively enhance the movie's narrative and legacy, making it a noteworthy piece in the western genre. 
in El Dorado, the 1966 western directed by Howard Hawks. One notable aspect is the choice of Bull's firearm a unique 1855 Colt revolving rifle. This distinctive weapon adds a layer of authenticity to the film, reflecting the attention to detail and recreating the Wild West era. Moreover, the Appaloosa Horse Koch Eyes, written by John Wayne's character, holds an interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit. It turns out that this horse was personally owned by Howard Hawks, emphasizing the director's commitment to ensuring authenticity in every aspect of the production. On a different note, it's intriguing to discover that John Wayne expressed disappointment about El Dorado being released simultaneously with his next movie, The War Wagon. Despite both films being initially criticized for being out of touch with contemporary tastes, they defied expectations and emerged as box office hits. These lesser-known facts provide a deeper understanding of the meticulous details woven into the fabric of El Dorado, showcasing Howard Hawks' commitment to authenticity and the film's unexpected success at the box office. Each element, from Bull's rifle to the ownership of Koch Eyes, contributes to the movie's unique charm and lasting legacy in the Western genre, offering audiences a glimpse into the intricacies that shaped this classic film. After starring in Rio Bravo, John Wayne was initially drawn to the role of Sheriff J.P. Hera in the film. However, after reading the script for El Dorado, he gracefully yielded the part to Robert Mitchum. Despite the constant rumors surrounding Wayne's health, Mitchum's unsaid attitude, and Howard Hawks' age, the trio defied skepticism. A movie often considered a quasi-remake of Rio Bravo silenced doubters, earning a substantial $12 million at the box office. This success solidified their enduring prowess in the Western genre, showcasing that they still had what it took to match past triumphs. Amidst the rugged terrain of El Dorado's production, a notable behind-the-scenes fact surfaces. While the town's sunlit facade found its authenticity in on-location filming, the veil of night that shrouded Cole Thornton and his compatriots unfolded not under the open sky, but within the controlled confines of a studio. This cinematic choice, capturing the town's daytime reality in the wild, and steering into the shadows for its nocturnal chapters, adds a layer of insight into Howard Hawks' directorial decisions. It's a nuanced approach that mirrors the encroaching darkness within the narrative, subtly reflecting the character's confrontation with mortality. In navigating the duality of El Dorado's settings, Hawks crafts a tale where the Wild West's harsh daylight contrasts, with the quiet weight carried beneath the cover of night, etching an indelible mark on the film's visual storytelling. As we bid adieu to the golden landscapes and dusty trails of that iconic film, it's more than just credits rolling on a screen. It's a journey etched in time. El Dorado isn't just celluloid magic. It's a reel of memories woven into the fabric of our cinematic hearts. As you stroll down the memory lane of this Western masterpiece, let it resonate with the echoes of your own experiences. Did you find a piece of yourself in the stoic resolve of the characters, or did the sprawling vistas awaken a wanderlust dormant within you? Whether you first encountered it in a dimly lit theater, a cozy living room, or even on a lazy Sunday afternoon, El Dorado has a way of transcending the screen and imprinting itself on the soul. The beauty lies not just in the plot twists or the eloquence of dialogue, but in the connections it forges with each viewer. Perhaps it was a shared moment with a loved one or a solitary revelation that still lingers in the recesses of your thoughts. Whatever it is, we invite you to share your reflections, your personal El Dorado, and let the magic unfold in the collective tapestry of stories. What scene resonated with you the most? Was it the rugged camaraderie, the silent whispers of the vast landscape, or the timeless allure of a bygone era? Your stories breathe life into this cinematic treasure, making it more than a relic from 1966. It becomes a living, breathing entity in the narratives of those who've experienced its allure. Thank you for taking this cinematic journey with us. Your thoughts and memories are the bedrock of our shared appreciation for the artistry that transcends time. Until the next reel starts unspooling, keep those memories alive, keep the stories flowing, and may your personal El Dorado continue to unfold. Authentically yours.